Okay, in the previous step, we installed the red scrolling display, and now we're going to go ahead and plug your controller back into the uh, um, ACW by plugging it in the two black edge connectors and applying power to it. As you saw in the last step when you programmed it, when you powered it up, excuse me, the word PROG was on the display. It needs programmed, so let's do that. The first step is to press the yellow button, and now the display is no longer saying PROG, it's saying showing inventory deposit. We're going to press the red button, and we're in the first menu item, which is inventory vending. We're going to advance it by pressing the red button until we end up at the menu item that says item prices. We simply need four unique prices. Press the yellow button. Item number one, we've programmed a $9. Press the uh, yellow button again. Item number two is $8. Item number three, we made $7. And item number four is $6. So we have four unique prices. Next, we're going to do four unique item names. We're going to press the white button, and we're in the next menu item, which is item prices. We're going to press the red button, and we have item names. Press the yellow button, and we're on the first name. And we've made it double wash and wax. Press the yellow button. Item number two name is uh, double wash and rinse. Item three is wash and wax. And finally, item number four is wash and rinse. So in summary, we have programmed in four unique item prices and four unique item names. Now we're going to press the red button and we're going to program in the welcome prompt. Press the yellow button. The welcome message needs to be the welcome, as you see on the screen here. So the welcome prompt needs to be the first menu item, which is welcome. Press the white button, and we're back to the welcome prompts. Now, for other controllers out there, older controllers, there's one additional step, and that is you may have a proceed prompt. If your controller has a proceed prompt, this one does not, you'll need to pick the first menu uh, message, message number one, which is simply thank you. So for older controllers that have a proceed prompt, ensure that you pick the first message, which is thank you. Okay, to return, press the return button. This controller is now programmed. The next step will be installing the swiper applying power to the swiper, and then finally testing the whole system.